Hey there guys, it's the History Nerd, here to finish up the Victoria 2 Let's Play. So, where we last left off, uh, after our amazing meteoric rise to third place, uh, the rest of the world said no, basically, that, that wasn't enough, and dropped us down. So now we're, we're in full recovery mode, yippee. And we have been uh, militarily limited by two different nations, I do believe. Uh, I've got an army here who's in really no shape to fight. That might have something to do with it, come to think of it. And didn't even think to look at these sliders. And I guess I should have, to be honest. 70, and then we'll need to put that at least at 60. Why not? We're still going to be making tons of money because uh, we're not... We're not supporting a massive military like we used to. That should bring in enough. You can see we're... We're still considered a great power, but we're ranked 14th by uh, August of this year. We won't be. Definitely having a uh, a German Reich moment, for sure. Now it also looks like, thanks to occupation of some forces, or perhaps I didn't even have those constructions going on. Uh, repay some loans. We've got a massive debt. We're limited to an incredibly tiny army, uh, including... Oh no, they're gone now. So this is it. Oh, Confederate Communists are rising now. This is all that last that's left of the glorious Confederate Army, the 5th. Which doesn't make any sense anymore. Oops. Come on. There we go. This of course means we have no ability to build up any army or navy. Uh, we have no navy. We have no... Who are those? Citizen guards. We have no colonial forces. We have no European forces. That's all we got. So basically any uprising that doesn't happen on the mainland we can't fight. And we're uh, we're stuck doing this. We're rebuilding. Which probably won't happen. Let's face it, we're not going to get back to third place. We had a glorious moment in time. We had an empire. Once we drop out, we won't have a sphere of influence anymore. Now, if I was going to let a group win, it would be the fascists. They're our best bet to get out of this. And I've never had fascists in Victoria, but uh, I'm not about to let them win. Sure, it would get rid of the Whigs, but really thought that would be higher. Are people at least shifting their, their voting? Of course not. Nope, it's because I went with the consciousness, or consci conscious... Whatever, the non-militancy option. And, uh, yeah, instead of making that, the, making that, or that making, there we go, word order, important. Uh, instead of that making the, um, Pops vote according to their political desires, 
and apparently it just makes him vote for whoever's in power. So it's good to know for the next next Victoria 2 game, I will avoid that option like a plague. Alright. The nice thing is these uh, these loans are relatively easy to pay off, although that's oh that's not too bad. Sure, I've been worse than that. Kaboom! Uh, more socialist, more militancy, both good things. Have we got any new political movements coming along? We've definitely got. Oh, that's our infamy. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Just pushed it a little too much. I think... I think if I had just kept it as what I've got, the world wouldn't have had a problem. But pushing into here was a bad idea. Argentina. Those rat bastards. Alright, military. Is it even worth it? We're gonna have to march all the way there. Can I? No. I cannot. So what does Argentina want? <laughs> Confederate containment. We... <laughs> what?! been abandoned by all my allies. Old members of the Sphere are attacking me to contain me for some reason. Not even to take land. No. Nope. But to contain me. To keep me limited. Thank you, Massive Infamy. Because I'll lose containment, I'll lose a containment war again. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat Argentina. So then, yet again, this army will be cut in half. Mm -hmm. Okay, we want militancy. Uh, yeah. So this, when I when I lose the war with Argentina, I might as well just get that over. Really, we'll surrender. You, you won. Congratulations. So, again, can't raise armies. That's fine. Half of my army is gone. Boom. No military. Sit back and let it happen. It's because my infamy is still up there. What would be nice when you lose a containment war? This was Persia want. Yeah, they're containing me too. Well, guess what? You know what? We're we're gonna go with it. We'll go with it. You can have fun cutting my non-existent military in half. Um, it would be nice if after the first containment war that I had with Britain, if that dropped my infamy, at least to a point where more containment wars wouldn't happen. Because as it is now, everybody and their freaking mother is gonna be like, "Hey, you, you wanna you want an easy containment war?" Go declare war on the Confederates. Uh, see Ethiopia, yep, cool. We're gonna repay our loans, and then we'll go and say sure. Why not? Congratulations. Mexico. Really? Ah, they want Texas. Now this is something that I can't even fight for. 
militancy. Can't fight them, so we will just acquiesce. It's yours. I didn't offer white peace. At least that was certainly not my intention. There we go. Militancy. There you go. Have fun with it. Bye. Bye, Confederate oil. What have we got? What did the people want? More unemployment subsidies. There you guys go. Why not? We can at least make the people happy. And in fact, oh, yes, yes, yes. We can lower some freaking infamy this way. Okay. Uh, let us... No, we don't want to play as them. We'll release them. Yeah, we'll just get rid of our Italian lands and people should be more... I wish I thought of that sooner. Damn. Okay, immigrants into Tennessee then, right? Why not? Wish I had thought of that. That'll help, really. Let's see if we can finally finally get a different government. If nothing else, we won't. That's all I want. Okay. So this is this is nice and helpful, isn't it? I want to choose Oh, so everyone's pluralism. Okay, so there is some moralism in there. Whatever. We have no loans to repay, even. Excellent! Well, if only we were able to build military units. In fact, it's, it's just kind of going on autopilot from here on out, really. We're just in political processes now. Uh, let them have their faith. Or, it's not a political issue. Not anymore, it isn't. Thank you. Might as well get some electric furnaces. Oh. Full citizenship, why not? And, oh, look at this, look at this. Why is that still there? We can... Oh, no, it isn't good. It's just my color. But they're satellites of me, so they're they're loyal or friendly or something. Did Dixie even make it? Oh, look at that! Look at that, we got some Dixie people over there. That's pretty cool. I like that. State capitalism. Ho! Oh, I'm shocked at the results. At least that's going up. Huh! 
Well, we can do that. I probably should have looked at that a long time ago. Okay. People out of work, we are going to... Oh, come on. I should have... I seized the means of production. Did I not? Apparently I didn't. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I didn't actually... Yeah, okay, so here we go. Not on his sphere of influence. Perform nationalization. Oh, I guess we don't have any foreign factories built in. On Confederate lands. That makes sense. No one would have been able to, uh... To do that to us. Well, we were a great power. Liberals, pause that, please. Thank you. Of course, it would be impossible. Even when I'm a minor power or just a civilized nation, I still can't make alliances with great powers because it's impossible. Absolutely makes sense. <clears throat> Newly formed railway company in one of our states has issued shares in the company to help finance the Bridget and Firm. We are now seeking buyers and investors to the state. The CEO of the company has approached local politicians asking them if they could help, perhaps, lend a bit of a hand in, making, in the marketing of these shares to the general public, arguing that as an extension of the rail networks in the state can only be beneficial and should be promoted. Some feel that this might infringe on the principles of official neutrality with regards to private ventures, while well, others see the opportunities. Yeah, one free railroad level? That then. Not even difficult to choose. use some of this stuff, really. Uh... So we want militancy. Old age security. Pensions. There you go. I mean, by the time we're allowed to build military units, it won't even matter. <sighs> so France actually went and had themselves another revolution. That's pretty cool. And they managed to uh, to keep their empire while doing it, which is even more impressive. decision to make. So, let's... Inc. 
sure regeneration. At least we've got fairly strong industry, all things considered. We're better than the Heavenly Kingdom who replaced us. Damn their military power. And it is nice to see the United Kingdom on top, I do have to say. It's where they belong in a game called Victoria. Cheers! go increase relations I was really expecting this empire to fall apart even more but all things considered we're staying fairly together uh this I mean you know ignoring those rebels. Uh, we've managed to keep a hold of our Asian colonies, which blows me away. The botanical expedition we dispatched some time ago has found itself stranded in Marrakesh, with the leak in Holland no rations. The expedition leader sent word home in a returning ship, requesting additional funds for the continued journey into the heart of darkness. Shall we provide the additional funds? Cause of science demands it. I have a feeling I dropped the accent a bit there as well. <clears throat> <clears throat> Although some women try zealously to in incarnate this essence, it is hardly patentable. It is frequently described in vague and dazzling terms that seem to have borrowed from the vocabulary of the seers, and indeed in the times of St. Thomas it was considered an essence as certainly defined as the somniferous somniferous virtue of the poppy. De Beauvau Simon, the second sex. A renowned confederate suffragette has published a book on what best can be described as a subject of feminist theory, and the book has gained a fair amount of attention both nationally and internationally. We're gonna con commend the book. Condemn it. Commend. Get that prestige up. Now, that's about all we can do. Attend the Olympics. Yes. It looks like it's just me and the, the U.S., the Confederacy, and friend. Oh, so now, now that I've got your land, we can be friends, Mexico? I don't think so. I think... Is, uh, is that we can we can put that back on automate now <clears throat> if you sir is upset by the fact that student number 156 wears a bonnet I would be pleased to remove my conspicuous headgear and take a seat at the rear of the classroom but I will not voluntarily absent myself from a lecture woman causes scandal at the Confederate University by being there a woman is enrolled at one of our institutions of high learning, and the event has caused a fair amount of scandal among local conservatives. More militancy. Another na another focus. Immigrants to Florida. That's good. We've got quite a lot of soldiers going into our pool, but still can't can't use them. Looks like the Americans might have some revolutionaries to deal with, communists. Hopefully, some of these dicks decide to rise up. Hmm. 
No. You may think we're all happy and... Okay, good. Those are colonial soldiers. We'll actually need those. A couple of Bedouins in the army. That's good. Uh, it's still far too skewed. Far too skewed. I don't think it matters. I don't think we'll have another election. We might have one more. But such things won't affect us. Yeah, we're driving cars in the Confederacy now. Look at us go. Awesome! So what's the reasoning for this war? Arkansas, huh? Arkansas. What? No, mobilize. Okay. Oh, yeah. For sure, just everybody tag along. Why not? So, we should occupy Little Rock. Even though it's obvious, I mean, there's no reason to put up a fight. Really. Like, it's... it's done. Uh, so now that we've got the gas defense, right? There, there's some American tanks down there, too. Yeah, there's really no point to this. Diplomacy, congratulations, America. You picked a weak target. Have fun with it. Military, demobilize. All right, yep. So, yeah. Uh, I guess over this series, uh, or over the course of a little while, we are going to get nibbled to death. But we shall persevere. And in fact, our good friends, of course. Oh, Venezuela! Sure, you were once a friend of ours. Those were happy times, weren't they? People should be free to drink. Let's just, let's go out on a high note. Everybody drink! Let's get drunk! Yes, now we will, because it makes sense. Although I don't think they'll be able to put up much of a... really much of a fight against the U.S. It's not going to happen, but, you know... Uh, what 
questions. What do I need for this anyway? Social science. Where is social science? Way down there. Whew. Okay, well, let's do that then. And at least get those pop-ups out of the way by the end of the game. That is my one complaint about the universal suffrage movement. It's that it is tech, or it is dependent on technology. Uh, when I mean, it, I don't know, I don't think it should be. Social thought, perhaps, but... I mean, just, just considering the amount of pop-ups that happen because of it, um, I haven't really been focusing on social social research. And in fact, quite honestly, the only reason why I ever do go for it is because instead is because of these these events. I want to stop them from popping up. Now, the the crazy thing is, right? Boom. A uh, uh, cause of this event is more liberals in the upper house. It should be, in my humble opinion, uh, a reform and not a decision. Thank you. Send some to the uh, send some to the UK. No hard feelings. Fantastic news. Yay! Are we going to get a new political party? Glory to the youth of our nation! Oh, yes! State capitalism! Give me control, people! Uh, militancy. Maximum work hours. 12 hour workday. Uh, we're gonna fight for our country. <laughs> With the massive military we have. Stop. Oh! Oh! Yes! Alright. Uh, not that it really matters, but it's time to start rebuilding. So... Boom. There we go. Uh, freedom, liberty, whatever. The computer can decide where that goes. Now. We do have a rally point set up. Good. Might as well merge them. That is a great idea. We'll do that. Won't have time to build a navy, but why not? We'll research it. And because that won't be enough just for us, some armor, actually that, and then we'll go with airplanes. 
massive military spending, that's what the Confederacy is all about. In fact, it should be, yes. Oh, it's France! Interesting. Of course! Of course! We're in our sphere of influence. Or we're in their sphere of influence. Why the hell would they want to be allied with us? Makes no sense. Give me some more liberals in the upper house. More militancy. With who? The U.S. Yep. And while we're at it, let's make this Asia. No, North America, please. There we go, that should be a nice sized fleet. To rally at the traditional location of New Orleans. We'll take it off Norfolk, because that'll just uh, that'll just draw attention to the Americans. We don't want them to know we're we're doing any sort of naval building. Although coming off the coast, they will notice it. So, aha! What do we got? Movements, decisions. Finally, women, you can have the vote. Congratulations! Please, please, please vote socialist or liberal or anything, anything but conservative. Uh, movements. What what do the people want? They want minimum wage. There you guys go. I see our old allies. They see us rearming. They're like, hey, the Confederates, they're up to something. Yes, we are. It won't fit in the game. And if there was a converter to HOI-3, well... That would be something else, wouldn't there? Or wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, yep. <clears throat> a fascist newspaper has begun circulating in one of our states. The paper, Confederate Dawn, carries fire denunciations of everything between heaven and earth, including, but not certainly limited to, communists, socialists, liberals, conservatives, foreigners, minorities, women's homos- women's- women, homosexuals, capital- capitalists, deviants, and criminals. Well, the paper carries a fair amount of vitriol. It does still manage to capitalize fairly well on several of the attitudes that are prevalent among fairly broad strata of our society. Whatever that says about Confederate society. We'll go with... Ah, uh, no. Population. It's like, how can I... S We're gonna go with the poor, then. The lower classes. Uh, 
modern naval design. Yeah, we could use the improvement in build speed. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't even know why they think that would work. Are you at war with someone, France? Nicaragua. Alright. What is going on there? Austria, Russia... Hmm. That's probably a good thing I'm not getting involved in the Great War, but, uh... You know, it's a shame I'm not a great power. That would have been fun to jump in on. I've never fought in a Great War in Victoria. Proceed! You're fighting the Yankees. So you can use our land however you want. And if I had a navy to help you out with, I'd use it. Sadly, it looks like... Uh, quite a few of our... Cruisers did not get built. And I'm not holding my breath on any of the armor. Or for that matter, airplanes. I wouldn't imagine. So, in that case, we're going to balance that. Yep, you can come in, France. We're going to send you... Is that really the best location? Yeah, I guess. That's probably going to take too long to build, but... What have you. Nostalgic romanticism. Isn't it lovely? What do you want, people? You guys want universal health care. Or, yep, universal health care. It's acceptable now. I wonder, is it just. There's probably a shortage on them. Yeah. There's probably a massive shortage on them because of the Great War. Still not enough to make me all that concerned. Splendid news! Stock exchanges! I guess I should have read that. Kind of in a rush to, uh, to just get this game over with, to be honest. There's really not much more I can do, except ride this out. There we go. Okay. 
If I can get enough military units built, though, I might be able to... Like, I mean, we're already in 13th place. Having the military score coming up here will certainly help. Sends him to our neighbors, and if we take a look at the great powers, it won't be tough to get ahead of Austria. We might be able to become a great power before the end of the year. That would blow my mind. In fact, as much as I like tanks, and I w would really love to have them in the army, at the moment they're just not going to be all that useful, since I can't build any. So we'll build more guards. Or artillery or something. Okay. Uh, back up top. We'll try airplanes. And artillery. There we go. Yes, airplanes are being built. Uh, we will clamp down on them to make them more militant. fascists have we got? Although we've already clamped down on them. So we should outlaw them so they get even more angry. The American pan-nationalists are still much bigger than the fascists, but that's fine. Movements! You people want... Safe working conditions. That makes sense. Everybody wants a safe workplace. There we go. Ah. End of the game. Well, let's find out. So, yeah. That's how we wound up doing. We were slowly climbing back in, but after the string of defeats we faced, there was just no way we were going to get back into the uh, into the great power sphere. If only we could have built some military sooner. Uh, I wish I'd thought to get rid of those colonies near the end there to stop the stupid containment wars. Anyway, uh, regardless, we did have we were we were right there. We were a global power that was strong and, and amazing and impressive, and the envy of the world. So, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this Victoria 2 game. Uh, leave your comments, questions, uh, concerns, tips, you know, advice, whatever below. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.